Hey, what's up guys? So this week I'm trying out a new product here in the shop called Weather Wash. And what it does, it takes new wood, turns it into old. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do to test this uh, rusted wood stain weather wash is try it on three different species of wood. I have some white oak, I have some eastern white pine, I have some poplar, and then just as a reference point I actually have a piece of old uh, genuine reclaimed barn wood that's got a nice brownish color to it. So I'm going to leave that just sitting on the side. I'm not going to stain this. I'm just going to, you know, see how it looks compared to the new boards. Uh, so each of these boards have been planed down. They've been sanded to, with an 80 grit, a 150, and a 220. Then I raised the grain with water and sanded it back down to 220, uh, which is a typical finishing how you would finish typical new wood. So I'm going to apply the stain, let it sit for an hour, and see how it looks. Okay, so by the instructions from Weather Wash, I've actually, uh, it's set up for an hour, and I think the, the oak so far after just one coat is probably the, got the darkest, you can tell, uh, it's the, the underside that wasn't coated, uh, and this is the side that has the coat. Again, the, you can see a little bit of a difference with the poplar and the, uh, the pine, but I think it's going to need another coat or two uh, to really darken it up to get to get it to as dark as I'd like to see. So I'm going to let the battery charge for a while so this will sit. So it'll probably darken a little more, hopefully. Uh, but then I'll get a, a second coat on there and uh, we'll see how that works out. Okay, so it's been a good three, four hours since I put on the last coat. They still feel kind of wet, um, so I'm assuming it just has to do with the conditions that are in here. Uh, but they are dry to the touch for the most part. Uh, so far, they're not really turning as you know brown as I was kind of expecting. They're more of a weathered gray. I don't know how well you guys can actually see the two. This is the poplar. This is the uh, actual reclaimed barnwood. Um, 
So you can see some light brown tints in there. Uh, again, just as before, after the first coat, the oak is the one that's looking a little more brown, taking the brown a little more uh, than the other two. So, so far, this is the winner. But I am going to go ahead and try for putting a third coat on them, see how that works. And I'm actually going to let it dry overnight. Probably like have a fan going on it and see if that kind of helps out the drying process as well. So we'll see. It's all experimenting. Okay, so it's been, uh, it's about 12.30 right now, back in the shop finally. The boards I treated with the water wash are dry. Um, not gonna lie, they're still a lot grayer than I was really hoping. I mean, I can see some brown tints, uh, some brown undertones, I guess you'd say, uh, on the boards. Um, again, this is the barn wood. This is the oak. So it's close, but it's still kind of gray. And then the, uh, the pine that I used, uh, it's, again, it's, it's got some brown undertones, but still overall, it still has a grayish look and feel to it. The poplar, completely gray. There's no brown on it, so don't use poplar. Um, well, I'm going to try the maintenance oil, see if that does anything to it. Um, and then uh, once I get that on there, I have to wait 12 hours, and we'll see. Make a decision then. All right, so that's it. Testing's done. Time to make the decision. Do I like it or not? Uh, we'll start in the beginning. The genuine reclaimed barn wood. This is kind of the datum point. Uh, so the first piece, poplar. So a few browns to it. 
not nearly as aged as I would have liked. It's, uh, it's more of a grayish tone, so I don't think I'll be using that anytime soon. The, uh, the pine has a little more grayish tones than what the poplar had, but again, all in all, it's still pretty close to being gray. Um, I don't know if I could really pass this off as uh, being an equivalent to actual barnwood. Well, that's it. Finally, the oak. If you look, the oak is actually really close. I'm really impressed with the way it actually came out here at the end. Um, so the thing I've learned is that you're never truly going to, uh, no matter what you do to the boards at this point, uh, you can't match genuine reclaimed barnwood, but you can get darn close. Um, so uh, again, if you're working with the weather wash at home, test it out on different boards, see what the, uh, the final result's going to be and if it works for you in the end. Like I said, the oak. It's actually really nice. I think on the next piece I do, when I actually get to the point of building project with it, I'm gonna try and do it where I leave it rough cut so you can get more circle marks uh, like you do in the, uh, the genuine barn wood. Leave the circle marks, the rough cut marks on the, uh, on the new wood that's, that's treated with the weather wash. Let's see how that, uh, that turns out. It'd probably be, I'd imagine it's gonna be even closer to the actual barn wood. So, I would definitely recommend this product. Just test it, test it, test it until you get it, uh, figure out what it is you like. Um, still not going to replace genuine hardwood, but there's definitely room for it in my shop now. And uh, I'll put a link to it, to the website, in my uh, description below. And uh, if anyone else has tried and used a uh, weather wash, please let me know what you what you thought of it, how you uh, what your results were. and. Uh, comment below, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you guys on the next one.